practice today, just a light, you know, a light workout today uh, after going at it pretty hard in pads on Friday, Saturday, and then going again on Monday, on, uh, Monday and Wednesday. I just wanted to, I wanted to do something a little bit lighter today. So we're just in shells, got a little bit of work together, but a lot of polish work more than anything else today. Did about 10 minutes inside and 10 minutes of scale and about 20 minutes of team. Uh, but more than anything, I just wanted to polish some things up. But I like right now the way that they're grasping everything. I keep talking about, I know it gets old to talk about the attitude and the effort, but without the attitude and the effort, what we're trying to teach and what we're trying to do doesn't matter. Uh, I, I like the culture of this football team. I like their attitudes right now. Uh, and it's it's starting to take some shape. I keep saying the puzzle, you know, is being put together. And maybe we got another piece today. Uh, but I think there's, we're, we're continually adding plays on offense and adding things on defense to give us a little bit more in our in our playbook. But I really like the way that they're kind of picking it all up right now and where we're going. Well, I just, I mean, for me, especially the quarterback, I, I think quarterbacks have to learn to play the game live. Now, I don't want to hit them unrealistic and we get into scrimmages, I'll make them live in scrimmages. Uh, but I think you can ruin a quarterback, especially standing in the pocket knowing nobody can get anywhere near him. I mean, it's a little different in a game because we don't get to wear a red jersey in a game, unless we're all wearing red. Um, but no, for me, I mean, what we do with a lot of our injured players, we, we go up into the weight room for about the first hour of practice. Um, and we call it the Yellow Brick Road because they get to go up there and see the wizard. Uh, but we figure if we're going to spend a day out here getting better at practice and they've got an injury or a rehab that's going to prevent them from working, then we're going to go up in the weight room and we're going to get something done with the day. And that's where we're trying to increase our strength or a certain rehab or body position. But no, I don't like to, I don't like the red guys to stand out. I, you know, I mean, I don't like the injured players to stand out just by throwing a bright red jersey on them. Instead, we take them in and we work them a little bit. We've got a number of injuries on this football team. Uh, a lot of them are carryovers. You look at guys like Shepard, uh, Kano, Tevin King, uh, Dora had surgery on his sports, you know, on a, on a torn muscle in his abdomen. Um, we've got a, a number of guys that are in that boat. And then we've got some bumps and bruises right now. We've had, we had uh, Nichols was out with a strained Achilles. I would expect him to be back, you know, sometime soon. Uh, looks like Stidham might have had a concussion today and they held him out for some precautionary measures. Um, so some of those little bumps and bruises, but there's probably eight to 10 that are missing practice right now. But that's where, I mean, as we say it all the time, the, the positions are earned in the spring. This right now is when the positions are earned because the next time we'll be on the field, we're gonna have about another 15 to 18 newcomers that'll be on the field for the first time. And so uh, spring is the opportunity to nail down a position. And that's why it's so important to be at practice every day. You know, he's doing a really nice job, picking a lot up, but um, you know, when you're throwing all the different coverages and new terminology and everything else at him, but you, you talk about a lot of youth in that secondary and a lot of inexperience in that secondary. And it's one place you don't want to be young and you don't want to be inexperienced. But the third thing that you're looking for in that is you don't want to be non-athletic either. And that's one thing that you look at a young man like control Bryce and you know Abraham and some of the other guys that are back there there's a lot of athleticism in that secondary they're just young and inexperienced and so every rep we can get of pass scale and everything else is just going to make us better but I think he's really doing a nice job of picking it up he's one of the better athletes he's played you know what I mean he's been there he's seen a little bit of game time and some experience so he's going to be Believe it or not, he's one of the more experienced guys back there. Um, and he's just a true sophomore right now, I believe. And so you look at him, I, I think he's got a bright future here and really excited he's home. And as a hometown product right here in Ruston, it's nice to have him here at Louisiana Tech. Quick turnaround, the challenge is um, really making sure that we get enough food in them, uh, that we can hydrate, we get some sleep, because what you worry about more than anything with a quick turnaround is injury. And that's why we pulled back a little bit today, because tomorrow we're going to get pretty physical with it. It'll be a physical practice tomorrow, uh, going a lot of good against good against each other. And so the biggest thing I'd like to get out of this right now is rest and make sure they get some, some food back into them so we can have some energy for tomorrow's practice. But you've got four seniors up front, and there's no doubt that's the leadership of our defense right now. When you look out there and you look at guys that have been here for a long time, that have played a lot of football, uh, I think they understand it. They have the commitment, and I think they're setting the tone right now. You know, the same thing at Lyman. 
linebacker. We don't have a lot of experience at linebacker when you look at guys like Schrang and both feet and uh, the two new junior college linebackers. Uh, Wiggins has a little back spasm right now and his reps have been limited. But when you look at the inexperience at linebacker and secondary, we're definitely going to lean heavy on our defensive line, not just in what they do, but what they provide from a leadership role because they're going to have to provide a lot of leadership. We're, we may have to take the Tonka trucks away from our secondary and our linebackers to get them to play with our D-line.